Hello, my name is Caleb Smith with the Rocket Miner newspaper. Here with a later than, than I'd like it to be update for September 14th, 2020. The timing has pushed us a little bit later in the evening because I wanted to catch the entirety of the Sweetwater County School District Number 1 um, board meeting. Um, I'll admit I t started the meeting a little bit late and further extended my viewing time because I was um, pausing and rewinding the tape in a couple places. That is the nice thing about a Zoom video. Um, it's not so, if, if you're uh, in a public meeting in person, it is a little bit rougher to go like, can you ex say exactly what you just said? Um, maybe you didn't s spend this, um, have the time to spend not quite three hours on the meeting tonight, so let me give you some of the highlights. A lot of debate rev uh, revolved around the question of the continuing requirement for masks and other facial coverings when social distancing isn't available. Um, many of those at the school district level stress that these current guidelines are coming from the state. Right now, um, Wyoming has state health orders that require that in schools, students wear some sort of facial covering uh, when six feet social distancing cannot be um, maintained. That's why, um, depending on the size of the number of people in a room, or um, say the stands at the, a football game, masks are required. Uh, one example they gave is that um, they could set it up so that you could attend football games and not have to um, wear a mask. Because of the six foot requirement, that meant that they couldn't um, allow as many people to attend. So to be able to maximize the number of people uh, in Tiger Stadium, which um, current outdoor guidelines uh, would allow us up to have up to a thousand people, um, it's a trade-off. You can either have a thousand people all wearing masks, or you can have a lesser number of people not wearing masks. The school district said that they preferred to maximize the number of people who could turn out, and um, and that's just one of the areas where masks are required. The current um, eating situation uh, when it comes to lunches popped up a lot. Right now, when you're looking at distancing, if um, school district stressed that they too don't aren't thrilled with some of the scenarios where the kids are sitting on the floor and eating, or that's different places. But I mean, eating means your mask is off, means you have to do six foot distancing. Uh, one of the things that came up repeatedly is that the school district is seeking um, um, solutions, seeking suggestions. Um, in a lot of cases, they're aware of the problems or aware, aware of the concerns. What they need more of is um, what are some suggestions on how we can fix it and address it. Something else that also came up during public comments and um, from comments of the school board itself is um, pressure that teachers are um, feeling. Um, I thought it was um, insightful, the comments from um, trustee Matt Jackman, who said that right before school started, he was able to f um, visit all but one school and, and was there on, and on beginning days and said that the teachers were excited. They were nervous, but they were excited. And it seemed like within two weeks, their excitement, their extra passion has been evaporated. He kind of said it. they um, kind of remind him of how teachers can look like right before the summer vacation starts. And others just talked about how um, all, all these things that the teachers are doing um, to um, some cases it feels like they're doing two jobs as they're trying to set up um, classroom teaching in addition to the virtual teaching for those who are at home. Um, one good bit of news is that the district finally received its order of several hundred swivel cameras which are meant to um, make it easier for teachers to simultaneously um, deal with um, classroom instruction and those at home. Uh, there was a demonstration. If you had That was at the beginning of the video, if you'd want to see how that goes. and um, what, one, one example given is that right now there was one classroom where a, a student has the, the responsibility of turning a music stand to make sure that the iPod is always directed at the teacher. This is supposed to be the type of thing that does its own tracking. So to, to free up time, um, training will be necessary. That's something that the school district's putting together. And that's something that came up a lot in comments is that um, just the expression that some teachers feel like the, um, while there's um, as more than 60 informational videos out there, um, some of them are still feeling that they uh, would do better with more one-on-one -on -one training, um, just trying to figure out the time to be able to learn this stuff. That, 
there are a lot of extra responsibility this year, and everybody knew that was coming. There wasn't this, this wasn't going to be a um, a year where people would just be coasting. It is rough when you're seeing teachers who have been doing this a long time, 20, 30 years, who are struggling. And uh, administrators know this, um, representatives, um, teachers, uh, Sweetwater Education Association, school board members are aware of it. Um, no one knows exactly what the solution is. And just as um, the goal is for people to be, um, to be contributing ideas. Um, it came up in more than one place in the meeting where people are like, um, I understand there's an issue, but please try to be constructive about it. Please, um, there it's, there's more than one way to, to deliver your concerns and whatnot, saying, there's a problem, you need to fix it, versus the, this has come to my attention, I, I am concerned, and to help you, th these are some suggestions I'd have for it. They may not take your suggestions. Some of the suggestions may be... Um, uh, you can't do, use. Uh, there are some people who are talking about how I understand, understand their state guidelines. Can't we just ignore them? Um, Trustee Mac Mickelson, um, toward the end of the meeting, um, br or part of that discussion, br brought up the fact that um, it doesn't matter what some school districts are doing. In Sweetwater County, they want to be doing what the law requires. Uh, he stressed that um, should, uh, heaven forbid, um, something horrible happen, and this isn't just COVID-19 um, guidelines that, that we're following strictly. This is any other um, state or federal mandated guidelines. If the school district is found to not be compliant um, with this stuff, he says that's like hunting manatees. It's uh, for, from a law student's perspective. This is rough. Um, I, one uh, district official said tonight, um, if this was a test... Uh, if, COVID, it's, it's, if, uh, if us going through the pandemic was a test to see how well society uh, could pull together, it's showing that we have some work to do. Um, one thing that um, came together at the end of the meeting is that um, districts talking about how we already have this current level of stress, and the um, statewide, it's been warned that education funding um, is threatened. Um, Governor Mark Gordon has been... Um, has been leading the state and making 10% cuts across the board. He notes that he's not quite sure what the constitutional uh, ability when it comes to education funding, and he's been asking for school districts to voluntarily make a 10% cut. Um, there are members of our, our superintendent, Kelly McGovern, um, tr its board trustee chairman, um, Carol Jellico, um, recently testified before one of the subcommittees on the topic and just tried to visualize what does a 10% cut look, look like? In school district number one, um, we are told that a 10% cut would be about 90 teacher positions, which by itself would be about three-fourths the staff of Rock Springs High School. One of the things that lawmakers made clear is that, they, that they're that they expecting the districts to do um, their part in educating and engaging with the public, be working with them to see what cuts will they accept? What are their expectations? What would they hold the line on? What would they be willing to give up? Just trying to identify expectations. Where's the line? What can we do? Because for all the times where we've watched the boom and bust cycle, um, Trustee Jellico was saying, it doesn't look like we have another boom on the horizon, at least from what we see right now. Um, informing a, a Cost Savings um, Task Force, um, which will have members from the school district, administration, teachers, students if they wish to, uh, business um, owners, and um, we want to put our heads together. Um, it was noted that previously, we, it's, um, the model adopt, adopted by Sweetwater County when it came to cost savings uh, actually became a statewide example that we were lauded for. Um, there was some optimism expressed tonight that this might be the same thing here when it comes to... Um, gaining information, and it's not just um, giving more information to the school district, which is important. One other thing that was stressed by um, uh, Trustee Patolo was the fact that this will also be a way to deliver information to the community. Those who are participating in the um, task force can also communicate that this is where things stand. This is the reality that it looks like we're going to be facing. Um, it's going to be an interesting time ahead. There's no doubt about it. 
though there's still some bright points along the way. One thing that frequently came up in the meeting and something that is worth celebrating is that um, this past Friday, I apologize for overlooking this, um, Sweetwater County Community Health um, was touting the fact that we are now four weeks into the school into the um, new school year, and both Sweetwater County School District Number 1 and Sweetwater County School District Number 2 have had zero positive corona um, cases involving students or staff. It was noted that if there is a positive case, that um, there are plans in place to be able to um, alert the public while also maintaining privacy. They noted that there had been one or two rumors that, I, especially online, things seem to move faster online, don't they? That um, that there had been a case and they were, it was an announcement was an imminent. They said that. Thus far, that's not been the case. Um, watch for official sources. It's, it's going to take extra work for us to work together, be considerate of one another, provide feedback, and, um, in some cases just endure. The school district stressed that a lot of these things that this is these are things some of these things that are, are out of their control. Whether it's talking about funding, um, state guidelines, like I said, hopeful to see the governor roll. Um, if things are if, if the those in charge think things are doing well, we're hopeful to see those rolled back. Um, it's nice to be able to see. A, um, a, there are some open spaces in, in in Tiger Stadium for the last home game when I was there. But you also don't want to rush and get ourselves into trouble. We're proud of the fact that we've had zero. There are other school districts in Wyoming that can't claim that. Um, their, their football games have been canceled. Their activities have been dis disrupted. A lot of these steps are in place to keep students and staff safe, to allow them to be able to engage in these extra activities, like sports, and to keep the schools open. Sweetwater, it's... Sweetwater County Schools had about a five-month period where um, kids were out of the classroom. We know that a lot of people um, learn better when they're, the instruction's in person, when it's right there. We know a lot of people prefer that. We also know that a lot of people, um, th there's a certain number of people, too, that would prefer to do the distancing and um, keep their kids um, virtually engaged. We, we're trying to find a system that um, does the most good that doesn't burn out our teachers that doesn't leave our students um, falling behind that we can pay for that we can get along with we're not going to find a perfect system it's not like we found one before and we forgot about it it's always going to take refinements but like I said there, the hope is that we can better come together put our heads together well, in some cases, maintaining safe distancing if, um, and just do what's right for our communities. Anyway, this is Kayla Smith from the Rocket Miner newspaper. Wishing you a good day and a safe tomorrow. Good night.